In the last video I showed you how to take multiple photos and generate a uh, panorama from those photos. Now I'm going to show you how to use uh, KR Pano Panorama Viewer. It's a product that allows both flash and HTML viewing of huge gigapixel files. So it's pretty neat. I've, I've used it for a couple of years. Uh, there's a new version that will do actual video files and then there's also a web VR. I've not messed around with either of these yet but that's something I've got to look into. So you can kind of get an idea of uh, the software. That's the web VR. I'm going to show you the multi-resolution um, HTML. Here's an example of a 45 gigapixel photo. You can click on it. It's going to load here in just a second. And then we're going to be able to zoom around on it. So it's pretty amazing how adaptive and responsive the software is. As you zoom in, it actually downloads the images from the web server rather than downloading them all at once. This saves both your web host bandwidth and a better user experience. So you can tell this one was a 360. This would have taken hours to make. Just the level of detail they've got in this is pretty amazing. So after you let it set for a second, the image usually clears up, but we're already we're at a pretty high uh, resolution right now, it looks like, with these. So let's go back and I'm going to show you how to actually make this. So we have our two photos that we made earlier. I'm going to use the uh, reflection on the beach. So we've got our KR Pano folder that we downloaded. And there's a couple different options here. None of the photos that we took earlier were a um, 360. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open the folder, the stitch file that we got made. Uh, we're going to drag it onto a flat droplet because it's not um, it's not a 360. So it's automatically going to process this, and it's going to take it just a minute. So it goes through these different levels of making images. So I'm going to look here on the desktop. This is the file that is putting all that in. So you can see it running through the process. You've got different layers of images. All right. So it creates these five, uh, six folders, six files. And I'm going to actually drop those on our web server real quick so we can see what they look like. Alright, so we're going to give that just a second to finished copying. I'm also going to show you what a 360 photo, how we're able to create that. Alright, so those have been uploaded, so now let's see how it looks. Oops. Okay, so this one, uh, I forgot to register using the key. You can still get an idea of how it works. I'm going to register the software real quick and then I'll show you how a 360 one works. Alright, so I've downloaded a panorama that I just took with my phone. It's a Google Pixel. So the resolution is not going to be great. It's not going to be the same as if you went out and took a high res photo. 
at least we can see what it's going to look like on a 360 viewer. So the first thing we're going to do is take the piano and drop it into, uh, I like to do multi-res. This allows the layering and we're going to tell it that it's a flat image. So that one was pretty small. Upload this one real quick to the web server. helps to get all the files. Alright, so now that we have all the files, this should work. Let's do a quick refresh on it. Alright, so here you can see, you can see how it's downloading uh, the data. If we pan it around, I was so close it didn't really record that great. But you can understand how the 360 looks on it now. So that's pretty much KR Pano, how easy it is to use. Um, the software is not too expensive. You can purchase it directly through their site. There's a lot of documentation on here about how to embed it um, to your website. The only time I've used it is just for viewing it HTML as I showed in the demo. So here's another example of it, um, of one I've done in the past. So here's what a 360 looks like. Now if your photo is tr a true 360, then you can spin all the way around. Unlike the one that I just showed you a minute ago, you can't spin all the way around due to it not being a true 360 photo. So the software works pretty good, it's cheap, um, allows you to do a lot with it. You know, gigapixel photos are just kind of fun. If you've got a gigapan, that's the best way to take uh, panoramic photos. You can sometimes find the Epic 100 on eBay for about 100 or 200 bucks. New, they're almost 500 in some places. But the, Gigapan's pretty neat. You mount your camera on top of the uh, base here. The whole 
device sits on a tripod, then you've got a button pusher that actually pushes the flash on the camera and all the settings are controlled by the GigaPan device. So I might be doing some more videos on uh, 360 photography and that type of stuff, so stay tuned.